All right, in this video, we're going to look at two examples of blinking eyes. As you can see here, we do have a set of blinking eyes here. And then also I have uh, this one here where we have a different type of blink going on. Um, two approaches. There's, there's going to be many approaches you can do to uh, get your blinking eye effect. But I'm going to show you the two here. This first one here, I got a request from a user. They were trying to get the blinking eyes from this, uh, I guess, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, image. So what I did, I thought about it for a while. I was like, okay, this isn't going to work out so well, but um, messing around with Affinity Designer again or any graphics app, what I did is I opened that picture that the user sent to me, uh, zoomed in on an eyeball, and I traced it or kind of like took the pen tool and just kind of created a little piece around it, smoothed everything out, and then I come up with something like that. So this right here is just a black uh, outline of that eye right there. And then I just shot it over into KOWP with the image and I set a little fade out thing to it uh, using a complex animation. That's really all I did. I'm gonna go through the whole uh, process here, but that's all I really did was created that eyeball, exported it, shot it into KOWP, and I covered that eye up and I set it to fade in and out. That's it. Um, and I think it gives a nice effect to blinking eyes. Now this one here was a little bit different. I used uh, a little bit of clipping and uh, scrolling to get that effect. So it is two different ways. There are numerous ways you can do this. But again, that image right there, I shot those over in the KOWP and let's go ahead and have a look at that. So the Dragon Ball Z image is just the image right here um, with the eyes not blinking. And then we have a left eye, right eye, and uh, the other stuff down here is for the other one, the, the one that you see right there. So uh, these one, two, three pieces here are the Dragon Ball Z things. So Dragon Ball Z, I imported that image, and then I imported the left eye image, and then I just changed the size on it. And I also, you know, adjusted the position a little bit just so I could get that image to cover up that eye. Now, right now, we cannot see that image. So let me just um, delete that for right now. And let me come over here and let's see here. Make sure I have it set. If I save that and go back to the home screen, I'm trying to make this eye black. There we go. So there's that image I created in Affinity Designer. It just basically covers up the eyeball. However, whoops, let me go back into KOWP. So there, I had it covered up and then I went over to its animation and you know I just deleted that animation a moment ago. Well, it's no different than the one for the right eye. But I did the same process for the right eye as well where I imported it, I adjusted the size, I adjusted the position, and luckily these eyes were the same so I just kind of changed the actual anchor. Um, over here I had it top left and this one's top right but the actual size and the position since the eyes were the same um, pretty much worked the same way or worked out the same numerically. So this animation here, the complex animation, I'm just going to take that, I'm going to copy that animation and I'm going to shoot it back into this left eye here because it's the same animation for both of them. So what I have it set to is a loop, uh, complex animation, ease is normal, and I have five entries. Module center, duration is going to be uh, 10, and of course you can apply globals to this stuff. And then I had a delay. That delay is going to give me two seconds between each blink. But actually you may have noticed it was a double blink. Well, that's all set up inside of this uh, five entries here. But let's bear this in mind. The five entries that I have, it's going to occur over a duration of one second. That's what that 10 means. And then once that animation is done, it's going to wait two seconds. The delay of 20 means two seconds before it does this thing again. Well, here's what I have going on inside of my complex animation. Basically, at the very beginning, at 0%, right when the animation starts, my transparency is set to 100% transparent. Then one-fourth of the way through, 25% of the way through, I had the transparency set to zero. So basically, this is going to be 100% transparent and then it's going to complete, be completely non-transparent. So that's for the first 25%. The next 50%, I have it becoming 100% transparent again. So this right here is one blink. Completely transparent, not transparent at all, completely transparent again. That's going to be that fade in and fade back out real quick. And then I have it 75% of my animation. As you can see, it's just alternating back and forth. But notice I do have the beginning and the end kind of starting or, you know, starting at 100% transparent and ending at 100% transparent. So it's going to blink twice. That's what this effect right here will give you. And that's all I really did there to get this effect if I save this, go back to the home screen, it's blinking twice, it waits two seconds, 
and then it's going to blink again. Essentially, all it's doing is fading. It's changing the transparency. Um, if you wanted one blink, you would just go in there and do something like this. So let's uh, get a little crazy with it just to show you some more things with complex animations. If I come over to the left eye, and I'm going to delete the 25% one, and I'm going to delete the 75% one. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this 50% mark. I'm going to make the transparency zero. So basically what's going to happen now, at the beginning of the animation, it's going to be completely transparent. Halfway through, you're going to be able to see it because it's going to be completely non-transparent. And then back at the end of the animation, it's going to be 100% transparent again. So now we're going to see one blink. It's going to occur for one second for the duration, remember one second, and the delay is going to be two seconds. So let's check out this effect. Now we're still going to see the double blink over here on the right, but we're going to see a single blink on the left. See that? So if you look at this one, it's just one blink. This one right here is two blinks. Now if you wanted this to blink faster, you would adjust the duration. If you wanted it to be not as much a delay or more of a delay, you would adjust the delay accordingly. All right, so that's it for the Dragon Ball Z one. Uh, what I'll do in part two of the video is I'll come and I'll show you how to do the one with the uh, circle, this one right here. So, um, and we haven't seen this effect yet. This is different. This is clipping and all that stuff, but I'll save that for the second video. And there you have it. That's one way of creating blinking eyes in KOWP. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.